So my name is Luna. I work as an engineering manager for our product team at Clay. We use feature flags in a number of ways at Clay. The first is to gate features. So to make sure that the feature we're shipping is high quality, to make sure that if something's wrong, we could turn the feature off, to make sure that we're gradually rolling out the feature in case there are issues. The second way is for experimentation. We want to be able to learn about the features that we're shipping to make sure that they're helping customers and to make sure like we're understanding how these features are being used. And Feature Flags allow us to do that. So before Uppo, we had our own in-house feature flagging system. And so when an engineer wanted to add a feature flag, they would have to do a lot of code modifications. We had this one doc where we would basically have to type like feature flag A equals true in like five different places. Um, if we wanted to change anything, it would have to be a code push um, and then it applied. And we didn't have any experimentation. It was purely a ship to prod like 100% or don't ship at all. We knew that we wanted to focus more on like growth and activation and these things like all require a lot of experimentation to prove out. The onboarding experience was very simple. I feel like it took the engineers all five minutes to learn. It's super easy to set it up in the code. We wrote a React hook called use Epo flag. That's just like a really light wrapper around the Epo code. And engineers just type use Epo flag with like whatever their future flag is to use it. The interface for experimentation and the feature flagging is also very simple as well. We can now turn on and off experiments and feature flag was just like a click and a GUI interface. And the engineers can also do their own experimentation now, which is exciting because we couldn't before, before we were just relying on our data scientists. I think Epo, the support we've gotten from Epo has been fantastic. So before Epo, we couldn't do gradual rollouts of our product. And so it was either all or nothing. Apple really gave us the ability to have more nuance in who we could show the features to. And then it also gave us the ability to like, if there's a bug, just be able to turn off the feature. It really enabled us to do technical changes in a safer way. And then to we also can now run experiments to make sure that no metrics drops with like a big migration, which we couldn't before. We were just like, pray. Oh, uh, I feel like the best part about Epo is that we don't have to think about it. It just works. And I feel like the best tools are kind of like that.